hello everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is kina Bife. if this is your first time of coming across this channel you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back i'm still in the mood of my last trip ever since i went on that trip i have been super super active excited my relationship with people changed i don't know whether this is the importance of traveling i think this is the first time or let's say yeah the second time i'm really experiencing the importance of going on such trips i mean going for excursions so i'm just lively i don't know whether it has anything to do with the place i went to or maybe the people i interacted with when i went there or all the activities that you know went on there so many things happened that day i couldn't put down in that 30 minutes video of course we spent the whole day there so i cannot put up everything that went on that particular day ever since i went it just got me thinking i've just been reminiscing about the place i just in case you do not know i am a nigerian that lives in ghana and before you come on this page or come under my comment section to start insulting me that <laughs> that i'm a bush girl and i've never gone to nice places in nigeria please this is me admitting that yes i have not traveled in nigeria i have not gone to exciting places in nigeria there are exciting places in nigeria i mean i cannot wait to go and experience it yes that's all i've been saying that i want to go to nigeria to go experience you know exciting place and document it the last video video i did that's the one i talked about my adventure in the volta region was my best video ever for me when i mean my best video ever the video i enjoyed editing the video i always go back to watch sometimes we as content creators we don't like to watch our content i don't know if that happens to only me so let me not say we as content creators as a content creator <laughs> myself Sometimes I don't want to watch my videos. I just I just want to after editing previewing and putting it out there I don't want to watch it again. I don't know. I don't want to go back to it But this particular video it has been on repeat on my phone So that tells me how much I love 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 that adventure I have traveled to so many amazing places in Ghana I am not saying that the last place I traveled to was the best place I've ever gone I would say is the best experience fun experience i've ever had before that it was my queo experience where i went during the easter period and then this one just came out and <laughs> queo people i'm sorry <laughs> okay this has nothing to do with the location of the place maybe just the activity and the people okay that i went with funny enough most of the exciting places i've gone to in ghana are mountainous places i've been to Ebury garden i've been to Ebury like three times i documented two i've been to Kou, which is also a mountainous place. The last place was Amitripe. All of these places are mountainous places. And this is someone that is scared of height. This is someone that has phobia for height. Though I have this phobia for height, I challenged myself to do it. And I think I am loving the experience. My, my next target is the highest mountain in Ghana. And I want to go hiking. Yes, I learned it's about three hours to hike. When, when we went to Mount Gemi, to hike Mount Gemi, like to hike to the peak of the mountain, is like 25 minutes. Today, I want to raise my observations about these three mountainous places I have gone to, which is Amejope and Kweu. First off, I realized that based on my tour guide and the information I gathered, it's like people that go up the mountain to settle are mostly people that were engaged in a fight and they were running away from their enemies and they decide to go up the mountain because they know that when you are up the mountain, first of all, before your enemy will say he wants to go that that high he will think twice secondly you'll be able to see down like if your enemies are coming you can easily see them compared to when you are you get like if you are up you can practically see everything that is going down there so your enemies cannot come up without you seeing them so you'll be very much at alert to attack i remembered the first time i visited a mountainous place which was Ibri. i was screaming i was like how do people climb there what gave the people the initiative to come and live up the mountain? Like you left all the leveled ground and you decided to reach. Oh God. 
I'm like, do you people know you people are up? Like, do you understand you are high, high, high above sea level? <laughs> do you understand that you're high, high, high above sea level? But I realize whenever we climb up the mountain and we're up the mountain, the, the ground is just leveled. Like, unless you, you, you are in a particular place where you can really see down, then you see down. If not, it's just like a normal leveled ground. So yeah, it got me thinking like, why does it have that storyline? Maybe it's an African thing or maybe it's a natural thing that, you know, when you're fighting, whatever. Well, that was my number one observation about those places. Another thing I have observed with these places I have visited is that most of the story sites has something to do with the colonial masters. When we went to Mount Gemi, the cross that was mounted at the peak of the mountain was mounted by a colonial master. And maybe what we as Africans we do is just to maintain the place. I don't know if you get. When you hear the story behind most of these recreational centers, it has something to do with foreigners. Even when I went to Eberi Gardens, when the tour guide was taking me through the history of the garden, the same thing because most of these things were set up many 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 years ago during the colonial rule i started asking myself questions like ever since our colonial masters left what have we done for ourselves like as africans this, this question goes to africans generally this is not about ghana i'm just using these places i have visited in ghana as a yardstick because those are the places i have visited but even the ones i have read of even the ones in nigeria it is the same thing the one place I have visited that I know it's an African that set up that place and making that place a place where you can go experience things for yourself, like a tourist center where you can go visit whenever you come to Ghana is um, Legon Botanical Garden. Even if maybe they brought the white people to set it up, but it was initiated, you know, the whole idea was initiated by a Ghanaian. Yes, we want to see more of that. Like I felt like let's create our own tourist centers. Yes the colonial masters have done their beats all of these things we are still enjoying them today and i think it's high time we start creating our own too to add up it can get boring at a point if we don't improve on it so i think in africa the ministry of tourism should do something about you know developing more of these kind of places because when i went to the Volta region i'm like Volta region is very very beautiful the landscape it's mind-blowing we have so many things that we can do with it most of this kind of lands if it was owned by westerners they would have done amazing stuff with it that people would troop in on a daily basis because if you have more of tourists in your country it's more money for you it's going to help boost the economy of the country so the more we work on it the better for us so this is to africa in general so i think the ministry of tourism have a lot to do most of these things were given to us naturally by god the only thing we can do is create something amazing out of it and keep enjoying because it was given to us by god just imagine that beautiful mountain that i went to climb and i've never hiked before that was my first time hiking and i enjoyed the whole experience look at what happens at kweu during the easter period how people troop in from different parts of the world just to experience kweu just imagine if we have more places like that where we develop and people can always visit the more the better because most of the times when the tourists come to our country they want to visit as many places as possible so the more places we have the better for us the better for the economy and the better for the country we africans we don't have the culture of traveling we don't take traveling as anything important i don't know if this is the feeling that people do have whenever they travel if this is the feeling of traveling i want to always travel i know one of the things that prevents africans from traveling is the resources to do that because of course you're not going to travel for free when you're traveling you have to factor in your accommodation your feeding and the money to tour around because going to these places they are not free 
another thing is that you don't even need to travel to these places physically like the tour i had on the mountain even if you've not been there before with that video you will have a clue of what that place looks like let's say you watch another person's video that visited that place the person will show you different angles and aspects of that mountain like that like that, like that. you gather information there are so many people that have not visited so many places but they know so much about that place so many people have not gone to america before but they know almost everything about america they know so much about america because they watch videos they listen to news they want to know more about that place when you do that like you have an open mind towards life generally so i think it is one culture that africans don't have and i think we need to imbibe it and if our government can help us in one way or the other it will be good i know there are companies that organize trips to places even within ghana outside ghana within nigeria outside nigeria wherever you are like there are companies that do that and sometimes these monies are expensive for people to afford that's why they are not even able to travel out so if the government can do something about it if companies can do something about it employers for your employees if you can say okay this saturday we are going on a trip we are going to take a certain amount from your salary i don't know how that sounds but if we are planning for a trip every month we are going to take a certain amount from your salary you know to pile up the money for this trip i think it will just help it will just help because when you travel you renew your mind you freshen up you have fun you come back you learn something new you come back you become more productive so in order for us to become more productive and not be like we're in a box then we should do something extra i think traveling is one thing that will help broaden our mind towards life generally traveling to these few places i have traveled opened my mind from where it used to be in fact just being a traveler from nigeria to ghana has opened my mind a lot those are some of the things i share here not to talk of you know taking an extra my going out the more going to other african countries traveling outside africa and then you realize how wide how big the world is when you travel a lot you won't be shallow minded and i think it is something that we should really imbibe in europe it is one thing that they value so much you see their leave they use it to travel they use it to tour the world that's why you see white tourists everywhere like even when we went to mount gaming they were there I think we need to adopt it well this is all i have to say on this video i just wanted to share my observations on my few trips i wish the government can help us travel more experience the world more because you have happier people when they are able to travel more and tour the world more anyway guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel this is the time to do so i beg of you if you've watched to this extent and you haven't subscribed please do want to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and until we meet next time do not forget to always smile because you're beautiful when you do bye